Boom. High End Radio, we on the air. Who is this? What's going on? It's your boy, Hey Banger. Hey, what's going on, homie? How you been? I'm good, man. I'm super good. Super busy is what you really are, huh? That exactly. <laughs> exactly, exactly, man. We're glad we finally got a chance to catch up with you, man. For those who don't know, go on and run it down to them on who the Hayes Banger is. Um, I'm from San Diego. Um, I work with some of the biggest stars out. Um, Grammy nominated. Um, you know, humble, hardworking. <laughs> That's what's up. Go on and drop a couple names, man. Uh, Beyonce, um, Jay-Z, Brian Carey, M.I.A., you know, ECT. <laughs> That's what's up, man. See... Again, you know, a, a lot of cats might not know because, you know, they look around San Diego. Oh, no one from the town is making it. But they ain't got no clue, man. There's cats in this city that's working and grinding, man. And maybe you can enlighten us on what got you to the status of where you at. And congratulations on your Grammy nomination. Ah, uh, thank you. Man, really just uh, getting out the... Well, first and foremost, just really working hard to master my craft. Like, you know, dedicating it all... All day, every day, around the clock, just you know, working on my beat and just trying to get better as an um, artist. And, and then, uh, and then getting out my city. That's super important. A lot of people, you know, gotta just stay in San Diego and just try to figure it out. But that's not the case. You gotta leave. You gotta get your music heard. You gotta get the, you know, rub elbows with those right circles. You know, traveling, hop on a plane in LA, two hours. You know, I'm mean, down the uh, down the street. I used to go to the Bay Area a lot and just work out there and do, you know, different connections and stuff like that. So really, man, just working on. Coming to master of your craft, because if, if you master it, man, then somebody gonna want something from you. You know what I mean? It's gonna it's gonna turn into money. You know what I mean? Don't chase the dollars. Just go craft, and you know, everything will line up for you. And then keep the world, man. Simple as that, man. Grinding. I recall a few months back, I had ran into you at at a meeting of the minds. What was your relationship to that, and your purpose of being there? Um, I, my dad, you know, he. He's really around the city, like he does a lot of networking and stuff like that. He uh, he manages my brother Ahmad, and I was actually uh, I was visiting in town, and um, there was an artist. There was uh, I forget the name of it, but there was there was something going on downtown. There was a couple of events, but it was uh, like an artist showcase. And I was actually you know just checking out a few of the local artists, and then we actually stopped by the Me and the Minds event, and my dad introduced me to you. That's what's happening for sure. Do you take your music more serious? more still as being fun because you love doing it or is it just business at the end of the day? Nah, it's never, for me, like, I've never been on that business. You know, everything for me is all about pure creative love. So I do take it a bit more serious because now, you know, I used to make beats, man, you know, at the crib and, you know, I didn't really see nothing. Some of them now, you know, I can make a beat and I can, I can, I can see something from it now, you know, you know, I can, I can, put, that beat can turn to a house, you know, that beat can turn to a company. So, you know, like, I take my, I definitely take my music a lot more serious now. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I, I can get it in certain avenues that it can be. Right. That's big, man. That's big. Because, you know, you kind of want to put all all levels of entertainment on the same level. Some cats get into the NFL and get lazy. Man, like, you can't do that, man. You got to stay in your toes. Because at the end of the day, there's a thousand million kids that's literally doper than you. That can take your spot at any second. So, you always got to find your uniqueness, your sound, and, you know, just keep working. Because there's, like, a lot of people doing the same thing. So, you got to, you know, you got to always figure you got to let it stand out. That's what's happening. That's what's happening, man. Real talk. So, let me ask you this. You spoke on your brother, Ahmad. Yeah. Dope R&B singer. What's going on with him? Can I see a Hayes Banger Ahmad project coming soon? Yeah, with him, you know, he's been the right to, I, I told him to be patient, man, because, you know, like, my life is so busy, and I've been doing so much, and we just, I don't want to rush nothing. I'm like, I'm a, I'm a big quality person. I'm just on quality. And I told him, like, you know, I mean, we're going to we definitely do music together. It's going to be the right time. You know, when I got the right space, when I got the right head space, my spoke for you. So right now, he's just super developing as an artist. You know, he was in San Diego, really, as, like a, as, a, uh, as a place to develop shows around town, record music. So when we do, you know, when, when our time comes to make music, it's going to be perfect. So, you know, he just developed it, man. And I used to do a lot of music with a lot of people I don't do music with now only because I had to, like, take the time to get myself right and, and create a platform where I can go back and now get back and work with certain people, you know? So I like, you don't, I don't, I'm not, I, I don't just make music just connected or just. Project and mixtape, but I like I like to 
take my time and hone in on full projects and, you know, really go in on them. I don't want to just do it just to do it. So, you know, I'm trying to create a platform where I can the artists that I want to work with and we can, you know, have the, have the proper setup for it and, and not just waste time. But, you know, you, you know, you don't understand that. That's like inevitable, man. That's going, that's coming. You know, he, he developed. So it's fair to say, after Lil Bro, you coming home to get some heat and expose San Diego. Oh, yeah. That's, that's always in the front, man. I already got my guy, uh, one of my guys, uh, San Diego, Preston Harris. He's about to try to deal with Rock Nation. You know what I mean? That's just off my being like, one of the ones that actually ready. Because, you know, there's a lot of talent, but not everybody's ready. And that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm trying to get him to be a person of all he's working. So, I invite him up, ready to start two years ago. And, you know, he was ready. And he, I have a deal. I already, like, you know, proved that I can open doors up to people and say, you know, you got to be ready for it. Boom. Speaking of people being ready, take me, give me a little brief history on what got you to the position where you at and your relationship with Hit Boy. Um, well, I used to work at this record label called Shoe Lake Entertainment. It was, a, um, it was an Indian record label from a reservation I used to work for for about two years. You know, Dago Braves, I Rock, you know, I, mean, I used to work at Big and I am calling Chad a lot of like a lot of like FD artists like to work with and I got I got a chance to like develop my ATM, mix and all that stuff for a couple of years. And then um, you know, when the department got shut down, I was like, I had to figure myself out like oh, one more thing to get. Yeah. Oh, literally. And I, I started traveling to the Bay Area and then, you know, I started going to Las Vegas and really just getting around and just getting my stuff out there. And I uh That's real big, man. Real talk. And congrats to all your success, man. The the million dollar question, man. What's it like being in the studio with Beyonce and Jay? Um, it's kind of, I, I, I always had like a certain kind of perception of what I thought it was going to be. And it, was, it definitely was nothing what I thought it was going to be when I actually kind of feel because it's like you and most your peers at that point, you know, on a professional or music level. But like, instead of having like a, instead of, instead of being starstruck, you know, like this Jay and Beyonce, it's more like this, like your, this is your peer that you're working with. You know, y'all, you're here for a reason, you know, they got you. You know, there's a reason why you're in the city with them. So instead of like, you know, taking the fan route and taking the star shot, star, like, you know, time to work, really. So it's just like, it's, you know, it's a little, it's a little bit cool because, you know, it obviously it's been but the same. I just got that in the work mode. You know, I got to deliver. So really, you know, my, I'm always speaking that man. Work on like over. Like, I'm, I'm like, a, I, I work hard, man. Like, that's all I do is work. So I never really find myself in a situation where I'm just getting caught up in that whole life. Everything is just work for me. So, you know. That's what's happening, man. That's what's happening. A lot of dope producers out of here in San Diego, man. They all want to get that that Hayes Banger status, man. Any word to the C's? Well, actually, a brother by the name of C's on the Slaps is working his way up, man. So, uh, so I feel like any, anybody can say as a producer, man, like, like I'm saying, you, man, not your crowd because when you hit L.A. and hit other parts of the industry, there's going to be a lot of talented producers and extremely talented, like, you gotta be in your A game. You gotta compete. You gotta press play on them and hold your own sonically. So, man, don't. There's no rush. There's no rush. Just sit at home and make beat all day and get good. You know what I mean? And then, and then test the waters. You know, start slowly. You know, getting out there, getting your pieces on people. But man, really, it's just, it's just get better. You don't want to. You don't want to get your feelings hurt coming out to LA, man. Because it's too much. It's too much top tier talent out here. You gotta be ready. Simple as that, man. Man, we appreciate your time, Hayes Banger. Thank you, man. Salute. Do you want to give any shout outs before you go? Yeah, man, I got a lot of shout outs. Shout out to some, like, my boy Irox. Shout out to my boy like, Dago Bray, Dodo. Shout out to the dudes. Shout out to my special order family out there in San Diego. I used to uh, work with. Um, and, well, shout out to Hartman, the Dot Cave. Well, I don't know if Dot Cave no more, but shout out to the Dot Cave. Uh, shout out 
Uh, 12 games. Right. Um, shout out. Man, there's a lot of, it's a lot of people, man. The whole scene out there, man. That's what's up, man. We appreciate you, Hayes Banger. Again, thank you for your